Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our devotional thought comes from Isaiah, the 41st chapter. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. And it reads, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Let's bow our heads. Our Father in heaven, Lord, I thank you for allowing us to see a new day. Now, Lord, as we open your word, I pray that you will fill us with your Holy Spirit. And Lord, that we will get direct orders from you on how we should walk today. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, for I will help thee. Brothers and sisters, finding someone to depend on is is one of the most difficult things in life. Friends will let you down. Family will let, let you down. Coworkers will let you down. But folks, we serve a God who says, do not fear. I will hold up your right hand. You fear not. I will help thee, says the Lord. Folks, we serve a God that says, I will be your burden bearer. Folks, I don't know what burdens you have today. They could be burdens dealing with family. They could be health burdens. They can be financial burdens. They can be relational burdens. They can be spiritual burdens. But God says, listen, whatever is, is your burden, whatever, whatever you give it to me. I will be your burden bearer. I will carry it for you. You know, it's, you know, it's interesting, folks, about when somebody offers to carry you, carry something for you. It may be, hey, you know, at school, I'll carry your bags for you. It may be at a grocery store, I'll carry your groceries. Or I'll, at the airport, I will carry your luggage. But brothers and sisters, one thing that's true for all those cases, in order for you or for somebody to carry your burdens, you have to be headed to the same place. I can't be headed over here. Somebody be headed over there and say, I'll, t- I'll, carry, I'll carry your luggage for you. I'll carry your burdens. No, 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 folks. You have to be headed the same direction. That's why, folks, it's so important every morning to get our marching orders from God every morning, to talk to God every morning, to walk with God, because if we want him to be our burden bearer, brother and sister, we need to be headed the same direction and say, Lord, I need to walk with you. I know it will be difficult. I know it will be hard. But, Lord, I want to go your way because I know where if I'm going where you're going, Lord, you will carry my burdens. And when we reach our destination, it will be beautiful. Brothers and sisters, are you still carrying your own burdens? Do you want to let them go but not sure how to? Well, the first text, folks, is link up with God. Make sure you are going the same direction. Because when you do, folks, the word, he says, I will, I, I will hold up your right hand. I will help you. I will help you navigate this sinful place called earth. I will help you deal with that problem. I will help you, I will help you deal with that issue. Stop carrying yourself. It's time to allow God to be our burden bearer. Our Father God, Lord, I thank you that you desire to carry our burdens. Lord, you said that your your burden is light. And Lord, we want to carry your burden. So Father God, I pray that every day we will link up with you. Every day we walk with you. And every day, Lord, we will give you our stuff. We will give you our mess. We will give you our concerns. Because, Lord, we know in your hands, that's the best place for it to get addressed. So, Lord, I pray today that you will be our burden better and that we will walk with you. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters.